Hello everyone, welcome to Dread Tech Australia and New Zealand. My name is Jordan De Cesare, and today in this tutorial I will show you how to set up your Vigor 2760 router to access the internet through a 4G USB modem. We will now cover the steps of using three different branded USB modems such as the Optus UOA E3276, the Huawei E3372, Vodafone prepaid K55150 and the Telstra prepaid ZTE MF823. Please note that the same steps apply to any other 4G USB modem. In the Vigor 2760, the USB modem will only run in backup mode. In our example, we'll use the WAN3 USB port of the 2760. Once you have logged into the router, go to WAN, then the General Setup Configuration menu. Select WAN3, then choose Yes to Enable. Now click OK to save. Go back to WAN and now go to the Internet Access Configuration menu. For WAN 3, click on the pull down menu and select 3G slash 4G USB modem, DHCP mode. Then click on the details page to configure WAN 3. Select enable to enable the profile. Now select the required network mode. The options are as follows. 4G slash 3G slash 2G, 4G only, 3G only and 2G only. In this tutorial, we will select the default setting, 4G slash 3G slash 2G for the network mode. Now enter the APN name that corresponds to the 4G modem being used and the ISP you will be connecting to. The table shown here lists the APN name for other service providers. Today I am using a Vodafone USB modem, so I will use the APN name for Vodafone. Once you have entered it incorrectly, Click OK to save and reboot the router as follows. We're nearly done. Plug your 4G modem into USB 1 of the router. Now go to the physical connection status page of your router. Watch WAN 3 and wait for it to come online. Please note that this can take around 20 seconds to connect. Once it has come online, you should be able to see WAN3 as a valid IP address and USB modem status will be operational signal quality shown. Congratulations, you should now be able to connect to the internet. You can test this by either accessing a website on your web browser or by pinging 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 through a Windows command prompt. For more information, go to our website www.dreadtech.com.au or send an email to sales at dreadtech.com.au. Thank you for watching.